Hey y'all, happy new year and welcome to another Teaching Tuesday thread. I pray y'all are doing great. And this week, uh, we are going to be going over a couple scriptures, but then we'll also be going over the multiple, uh, a few translations of those scriptures. So let's get started in Psalms chapter 98 verses 1 through 2 in the Amplified. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous and wonderful things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has openly revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. The Passion Translation puts it this way. Go ahead, sing your brand new song to the Lord. He is famous for his miracles and marvels, for he is victorious through his mighty power and holy strength. Everyone knows how God has saved us, for he has displayed his justice throughout history. And now in the message. Sing to God a brand new song. He's made a world of wonders. He rolled up his sleeves. He set things right. God made history with salvation. He showed the world what he could do. And now, in my opinion, well, not my opinion, but in my own life, I can actually see God's fingerprints all over my whole life. And words cannot express the gratitude the appreciation and the love that I have for all of this. And God never intends bad for us. He only intends good. And though we go through trials and though bad things may or do happen to us, God's the one that turns those things around. And how how, how you see it and how you choose or what you choose to do with it, that's mm-hmm. up to you. You are a chooser. And next, we will be going into Hebrews chapter 10, verses 20 through 24 through 25 in the Amplified. And let us consider thoughtfully how we may encourage one another to love and to do good deeds, not forsaking our meeting together as believers for worship and instruction, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more faithfully as you see the day of Christ's return approaching. Next in the the Passion Translation, discover creative ways to encourage others and to motivate them toward acts of compassion doing beautiful works as expressions of love. This is not the time to pull away and neglect meeting together, as some have formed a habit of doing. In fact, we should come together even more frequently, eager to encourage and urge each other onward as we anticipate that day dawning. And now in the message translation, So let's do it, full of belief, confident that we're presentable inside and out. Let's keep a firm grip on the promises that keep us going. He always keeps his word. Let's see how inventive we can be in encouraging love and helping out, not avoiding worshiping together as some do, but spurring each other on especially as we see the big day approaching. Now, the common, the common thing in, in these scriptures here is about um, how, it, and it, it lines up perfectly with um, the, the day and age that we are in, for there is a falling away of meeting together for instruction and worshiping. Um, there's not very many people that come together to go to church anymore, they just, it's fallen away. And we need to 
we need to bring that back. We need to, we need to revive it. We need to have that revival. And not only that, in, in my opinion, church is supposed to be like our second home. And so it totally is correct. We do need to meet together more than just that once a week, more for than just for instruction and worshiping. We are, we are considered brothers and sisters together in Christ. What should we do? Brothers and sisters, that means that we are a family. Fa- family is there to support. We are there to encourage. We are there to cheer each other on when somebody is low, when somebody is having a hard time, when you are in a tough situation, you don't know what to do. We are supposed to be there for that person, are we not? And now I don't have all the answers. And I know nobody is perfect. We all don't have the answers. But the answers are in our Bible. We need to get in our Bibles. We need to press into God. We need to pray. And then we need to press in some more. And we need to pray even harder. And we need to just come together as a full body of Christ and be there for one another. We need to be that encouragement. And so after, upon reading these scriptures, I ask you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, Let's be shining beacons of light, shining beacons of light for Jesus by encouraging others around us in positive ways. Much love and may peace be with y'all. God bless.